Hello, V. I am home alone and bored, and this board is shit, so I'm going to increase the quality of it by making this thread. Um, give me things to read, and I'll read them, and I can be really loud because I'm alone. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. So, hit me. <coughs> this is a tall order. Okay. <clears throat> Very fast attack. I'm getting pumped. I would like to pump you. A powerful move. Another strong move. That is a strong move. I'm going to strike you down. Maybe he can use that match to light some scented candles for later. <laughs> he should use that for sitting. I think you better sit this one out. Only one chair. Maybe you can sit on my face. <clears throat> Manholes are usually on public roads. I prefer <laughs> a woman hole. <clears throat> I enjoyed Kanan's waving flag. He looks like Game & Watch. I waive the right to lose this match. It isn't a red flag. You don't have any red flags either. You're GF material. Really well animated. Go fish! I know a fish called Ariel, the little mermaid. Almost as pretty as you. <clears throat> a strong move. Go box! Maybe you could put your box in the air. <laughs> Probably my best attack. I'll make your life a living shell. <laughs> my foreskin make my penis look like a turtle. Mm. <clears throat> Probably my best attack. Wait, I read that one. Uh, <clears throat> you can move to avoid this. I believe you can fly. Oh, wait, there's an ant. Uh, <clears throat> I believe you can fly. I don't fucking know, R. Kelly. Uh, <clears throat> that move pushes you up. Is that a push-up bra? <laughs> <clears throat> this is a meteor smash. The move, this move is key to my victory. <laughs> he really came down hard, just like I'm coming down hard with the love bug. <clears throat> <clears throat> I threw you. I like clowning around. <laughs> Clowns juggle. <laughs> I hate to juggle, but I'd like to snuggle. <laughs> mm. I threw you. I read that. <clears throat> do not do this. Oh, that's okay. Do not do this. Wink, wink. <clears throat> I bet losing to me rings some bells. Would you like to play with my dingling? <clears throat> Watch out for my oil attack. Have my oil. I hope I don't book it up. <clears throat> I hope your bucket has a bigger capacity because I could go ten times. <laughs> that will kill some sea life. Oil will win this match for sure. <laughs> I have some massage oil in my bag. If you'd like a massage, <clears throat> bring oil. <clears throat> Looks like a standard walk. I'm going to flip any minute now. <laughs> I bet you have another name for throwing your food, spitting. <laughs> this move is luck-based. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had nine! So, would you rate our chances of sex from one to nine? <clears throat> they use parachutes to skydive. I'd like to go skydiving one day. I'd like to go skydiving with you one day. Maybe skydiving into bed. <laughs> Damn, I should win now. I'll get, get you. Sucker. Haha. <laughs> I'd tentacle rape you if I was an octopus. <laughs> Fucking, you should pay me for reading all this shit, you motherfucking nigger!
Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I have already discussed the matter with the senator. Chew you have his faction a Sningalicious had his fact to snack that up. You can thank me by cleaning your room, you little shit! It's time to chew ass by Dick Kickham. Regardless of the alacrity or lack thereof with which my quadrum virate of opponents in this present conflict of arms mobilize their corporeal forms in a timely fashion to evade my assault, <clears throat> I at this juncture wish to state in the model tone of an insult my opinion that their movements were of a slipshod and mediocre quality, <clears throat> using a single disabilic word that will convey my aforementioned viewpoint that the locomotions they undertook for tactical purposes purposes in this skirmish were excurlibly ghoulish and unworthy of any favorable assessment whatsoever. <gasps> Regardless of the alacrity, or lack thereof, with which my quadrumvirate of opponents in this present conflict of arms mobilized their corporeal forms in a timely fashion to evade my assault, I at this juncture wish to state in the modal tone of an insult my opinion that their movements were of a slipshod and mediocre quality, Using a single disyllabic word that will convey my aforementioned viewpoint that the locomotions they undertook for tactical purposes in this skirmish were execrably ghoulish and unworthy of any favorable assessment whatsoever. Glad you can make it, Tracker. Watch your tongue with me, little nigga. You may be the prince, but I'm still your superior as a gangster. Listen, Arthur, homie. There'll be something about the play you should know about. All these niggas are infected and shit. They may look alright now, but soon they'll all turn into undead motherfuckers. This hood be pop, man. Nigga, how could you even be thinking about that? There got to be some other way. Shit, bitch, is your future king. I order you to pop. Pop this hood. You ain't my king yet, bitch. Nah, man. What I obey that shit if you were? Then I must consider this an act of gangbanging. Gangbanging? Have you lost your mind, office? Have I? Law, other, by my right of succession of sovereignty and shit in my crib, I hereby relieve you from your command and suspend your gangsters from service. Hold up, nigga. What you doing? Is done. Those of you who have the will to save this hood, follow me. The rest of you, get out of my hizzot. You just burned a terrible mixtape. Mm. Bitch. I'm sorry, Ardis. I got side niggas to blow. Anon, you're gonna have to slim that down, cause I ain't reading all that fucking shit. I also have no idea who this motherfucker is. I am a 12-year-old nigger boy about to be sold in market for a low price due to the welts and bruises on my back, indicating that I am a disobedient and bad worker. Video games. I am a 12-year-old nigger boy about to be sold.
one or more of the images found within this thread of discussion are by the infamously bad and notoriously distasteful internet personality and so-called artist, Shadius Manus, and I absolutely must express my displeasure with what unfortunate circumstances face me via uses of this rodent returning to his domicile after confronting the horrors of the world. I didn't sign up for this shit to watch some fucking shit, you dumb faggot. Epic fail. Nintendo's new Switch console breaks instantly if you run over it with your car. Well, folks, it looks like Nintendo may have another wet fart of a console on their hands if our early tests are any indication. When we first saw this rumor floating around on Reddit, we had to look into it ourselves. And I'm sad to say that it's completely true. The Nintendo Switch instantly shatters if you run over it with your car. Epic fail. Nintendo's new Switch console breaks instantly if you run over it with your car. Well, folks, it looks like Nintendo, man. <laughs> Fuck! Um, actually, I think you'll find that Senator and Kagura what Will is stroking Bikini Dance Party 2 is actually a satire and commentary on today's youth. You see, my simple-minded friend, the subtle nuances that can be found within the carefully constructed cast of characters, including Yumi, Asuka, Haruka, best girl, and Mirai play an integral role in conveying the message that Japanese society is critically and unfairly judgmental towards the rude acts that the adolescent offspring during the phase in which they become adults. The game is more than just scantily clad anime girls playfully stripping each other and getting into arguments about breast size. The plot is littered, literally littered with symbolism and cultural themes that a stupid American such as yourself could never pick up on. I was really hoping that I wouldn't have to go through the effort of explaining it to you, but it seems like I underestimated your ignorance and lack of cultural understanding. Another day ruined having to deal with complete idiots. Fairies are enemies! They're scum! Garbage trash! The kind of pest you'd send flying with your fists! They're not something you'd want to be your partner! Today on Game Theory, we discuss if Pauline is a Tabasco sauce engineer to be human and kill Snake and his Ness. But that's just a theory. A gay theory. Blocks your path. Well, V, now that the dust has settled, can we all agree on what our guy meant by <clears throat> bing bing wahoo? Find a flaw. Pro tip. Lol! I just finished God's game. What did I think of? <laughs> I hurt enemies that can open doors today. Give me one, one game that allows me to do this, or I'll eat your souls. Red pill me on blunder of the century. What went wrong, bros? Why is this allowed? Keep it video. That feel went too intelligent for oh no 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 no. So this is the power of Anon turning on his mic mic. I will post this every day until E3. What did I think of it? I don't see the big deal. Going out for Chinese with the boys after a hard day at the office is totally fine, but as soon as I suggest sushi or hibachi, I'm a fucking weeaboo. I'm so sick of this. Ah, sumimasen, uh, moto sashimi kurosai! Tries it his note. Excuse me, waiter. More sashimi, please. I don't see the big deal. Going out for Chinese with the boys after a hard day at the office is totally fine. But as soon as I suggest sushi or hibachi, I'm a fucking weeaboo. 
I'm so sick of this. Ah, uh, sumimasen, moto sashimi kudasai. Translator's note. Excuse me, waiter. More sashimi, please. Whistles for magic horse. Auto runs on road to quest marker. Toucan Sam vision activates. Mmm, giant slash marks all over the victim. A drowner trademark. Gotta be. Come on, Roach. Follows nose. Guys in drowner trademark costumes appear. Oi, bloody hell, fucking cunt shit, fuck, cunt shit. It's a fucking witcher, it is. Get him. Shit, you stink. Oh! Sets guys on fire and they stumble and recover immediately. Does a cinematic slash and cuts guys in half. Mmm, bandits, trademark. Pretending to be drowners, trademark. Better tell the village head about this. Come on, Roach. Auto runs on road back to village. Oi, bloody fuck, cunt witcher! What about the contract we paid you for, you bloody fucking cunt? Just some bastards posing as drowners, trademark. Here's proof, shows Flipper. Oi, Koa! Here's your reward the whole village shipped in! Drowning in danger complete. Ah! Ten crowns received. Eh? You've never seen a pair of breasts before? And you're how old? Jeez. <laughs> well, we better fix that then. Just close your eyes for a sec. And here! Boing. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. Jeez, Anon. They're just sacks of fat on my chest, you know. Do they really excite you that much? G get a look at this then. See how they bounce up and down. Jiggle, jiggle. I bet you want to squeeze them too, don't you, Mr. Perverted Virgin Boy Anon? Go right ahead! Honk these honkin' honkers as much as you want! Take your time! Heck, suck on them too! I know you really want to. Just be careful, my nipples are super hard right now. <laughs> can't imagine why! I, I, I bet you want to see my vagina too, you pervert! Well, we're already this far. Might as well. I'm not wearing panties anyway. S -s so, what do you think? Well, I guess that raging erection in your pants answers that question. <laughs> You're such a pathetic pervert, Anon. I, I, I bet it's the first one you've seen since you slid out of your mother's. L l look at how wet it is, too. Jesus fucking cranks. It's so fucking wet. I've never been seen it this wet before. Look what you're doing to me, you freaking pervert. Y y you sure know how to make a girl hot and bothered. Oh lordy, Christ on a stick. You better take some responsibility for this. After all, when it's this wet, it's much easier to cram something up there. And I'm leaking like a freaking sieve here. You better plug it up right now. Sixty-four kecks. Ha 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 ha! Thirty-two kecks. Ha ha ha! Sixteen kecks. Ha ha ha! Eight kecks. Ha ha! Four kecks. Ha ha! Two kecks. One keck. Half keck. Quarter keck. Delete this! As to Kvagju, Giskal Gwigwigs, Olive Wiggles, I go Wiggle Hive! How Wiggles, Skib Giga Beniso, Gibbs you.
Hey, Lincoln Loud, do you want to be a new Toon Jedi Padawan student, learner and apprentice of the Toon Jedi High Council? Well, you bet, Lincoln. You are now in a... You are now a Toon Jedi youngling and a new member of the Cartoon Heroes and the Galactic Autobot Joe Alliance. You are willing to be brave to fight the evil forces of the Cobra Decepticons, the Sith Lords, and the Syndicate. You must remember the true meaning of friendship, just like my faithful purple pony alicorn friend Twilight Sparkle, who did the same thing with Starlight Glimmer. Uh-huh, Grand Jedi Master Jimmy Neutron. Thanks for joining me for becoming a new Toon Jedi Padawan and member of the Cartoon Heroes. May I ask you for a second, please, Grand Jedi Master Jimmy? I'm Lincoln Loud, and I'm 11 years old. I was the middle child and only son of the Loud family. I attended the fifth grade at Royal Woods Elementary School. So, you want me to train to use the force of the Jedi Masters? I beg your pardon, Grand Jedi Master Jimmy. Do I need to prove myself to become a new Toon Jedi Master to stop the evil forces of the Cobra Decepticons, the Sith Lords, and the Syndicate? What if I don't give up? Well, it's a it's brave to be a Toon Jedi Master to use their minds to save Toontown from destruction to stop the villain who stands in our way. Well, there was no God here today. Just me. This could be us, but you will friendzone me ten times. Ten fucking times, Veronica! When will you learn to love me, a gentleman gamer, instead of going after dumb jocks? Bitch! Gamers, rise up! This could be us. But you friendzone me ten times. Ten fucking times, Veronica. When will you learn to love me, a gentleman gamer, instead of going after dumb jocks? Bitch. Gamers, rise up. Soy! Soy! I love soy! Soy! Ah! Fuck me harder, Tyrone! Hey, Anon! Here we go! I'm not watching that video! Bye! Allow me to play doubles advocate here for a moment. For all intensive purposes, I think you are wrong. In an age where false morals are a diamond dozen, true virtues are a blessing in the skies. We often put our false morality on a pedal stool like a bunch of prima donnas, but you all seem to be taking something very valuable for granted. So I ask of you to muster up all of you, all the strength you can because it is a doggy dog world out there. Although, there is some merit to what you are saying. It seems you have a huge ship on your shoulder. In your argument, you seem to throw everything in but the kids in sync. And even though you are having a field day with this, I am here to bring you back into reality. I have a sick sense when it comes to these types of things. It is almost spooky, because I cannot turn a blonde eye to these glaring flaws in your rhetoric. 
I have zero taller ants when it comes to people spouting out hate in the name of moral righteousness. You just need to remember what comes around is all around. And when supply and command fails, you will be the first to go. Make my words, when you get down to brass stacks, it doesn't take rocket appliances to get two birds stoned at once. It's clear who makes the pants in this relationship, and sometimes you just have to swallow your prize and accept the facts, instead of making a half-hearted effort. You might have to come to this conclusion through denial and error, but I swear on my mother's mating name that when you put the pedal to the metal, you will pass with flying carpets like it's a peach of cake. To be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. The humor is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of theoretical physics, most of the jokes will go for a typical viewer's head. There's also Rick's nihilistic outlook, which is definitely woven into his characterization. His personal philosophy draws heavily from Narodanya Voya literature, for instance. The fans understand this stuff. They have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the depths of these jokes, to realize that they're not just funny. They say something deep about life. As a consequence, people who dislike Rick and Morty truly are idiots. Of course they wouldn't appreciate, for instance, the human Rick's existential catchphrase, Wubba Lubba Dub Dub, which itself is a cryptic reference to Turgenev's Russian epic Fathers and Sons. I'm smirking right now, just imagining one of these adult-pated simpletons scratching their heads in confusion as Dan Harbin's genius wit unfolds itself on the television screen. What fools. How I pity them. And yes, by the way, I do have a Rick and Morty tattoo. And no, you cannot see it. It is for the ladies' eyes only. And even then, they have to demonstrate that they're within five IQ points of my own, preferably lower, beforehand. Nothing personnel, kid. Soy, soy, I love soy. This is my latest computer program. It not only runs Windows, it washes them too. <laughs> Cold Steel the Hedgehog. Bio. Cold Steel was born with a special power. He was stronger than <laughs> all his classmates in the Sonic Fighting Academy. He served in the Sonic military fighting Shadow, and in the final battle against Shadow, they were fighting and Shadow turned him to the darkness, and Cold Steel turned against Sonic and killed him. He lost a part of his ear in the battle, which is why he doesn't have a part of his ear. Please stop PMing me asking me why that's why. Also, earrings aren't girly. Fuck you, Chaos Kid 663. Everyone knows you're a fucking Pokemon scammer faggot. Likes, hurting people, beating badass, motorcycles, nine inch nails, the band, killing, death, punk rock, jinko jeans, skulls, darkness, hot girls with big boobies who are sluts, nine inch nails, on finger, earrings, purple, cool kind, not gay kind, dislikes, niceness, happiness, Levi's, Kevin Robinson from school, fuck you Kevin, please stop showing everyone my fucking deviant, are you piece of shit? Trent Reznor, Short Nails, Chaos Kid 663, Mega Ass Faggot, Sunshine, Life, My Dad, Football. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. Trust me, you marry nice peasant girl. One eyebrow all the way across her head. Short, stumpy legs, but a big heart. Remember, zebra is a fine creature to admire, but you do not have to ride it. Everything you eat so soft, you're uncomfortable. Just let me turn into a 
Hypocrite that you are! Haha! <laughs> For you trust the chemicals in your brain to tell you that they are chemicals! All knowledge is ultimately based on that which we cannot prove! Haha! <laughs> will you fight? Or will you perish like a dog? Haha! <laughs> You got me the Dementoid expansion pack. The expansion pack, Andy! I need the game! If I don't have the game, what am I supposed to expand upon? I knew you were incompetent, but I guess I overestimated you. Uh, fuck you, Nintendo! I pick fucking match my rank and you put me up against a four star! God damn it! Fuck you! I'm a fucking two star! Four star does not match a fucking two star! What the fuck is your problem? You goddamn cheat! You made the fucking Wii, now make your online system option fucking work! I'm tired of setting it to match my rank only to find it not match my rank, then go down a rank because of your fucked up system! God damn it! Fuck you, Nintendo! I'll never buy another game from you again! And I'm going to bomb Japan tomorrow! How about that, Nintendo? Oh shit, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Our daddy taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks, especially since they're such a good size and all. Yeah, I see that. Your daddy gave you good advice. It gets bigger when I pull on it. Mmm. Sometimes I pull on it so hard, I rip the skin. Well, my daddy taught me a few things too, like uh, how to not rip the skin by uh, using someone else's mouth instead of your own hands. Will you show me? Well, I'd be right happy to. Regardless of the alacrity or lack thereof, which was my quadrumbrate of opponents in this present conflict of arms mobilized their corporeal forms in a timely fashion to evade my assault, I at this juncture wish to state in the modal tone of an insult my opinion that the movements were of a slipshod and mediocre quality, using a single disyllabic word that will convey my aforementioned viewpoint that the locomotions they undertook for tactical purposes in this skirmish were execrably ghoulish and unworthy of any favorable assessment whatsoever. Uh, all the black people, or niggers as I like to call them, get off this community because it's for white people only. <coughs> Understand? Because if you don't, I will make black people slaves again. Jesus titty fucking crack smoking Christ on a moped! Why would you have this saved? Seriously, what kind of person seeks out, downloads, saves, and reposts an image, an animated image, of a deer fucking a crying schoolgirl? Like, I know there are bizarre fetishes and weird shit that turns people on, and you know, I'm totally cool with that. I just don't look at it, but this, fucking this, the fact that somebody thought it would be hilarious to save this thing, and then that everyone else wanted to see it just boggles my motherfucking mind. What type of persona are you? Seriously, do you keep this shit to yourself or do you act like a creepy fucking public too? <coughs> do you have any friends at all? I sure as fuck hope not. And the worst part of all is that this is... 
Then about 30 posts, this will morph into a Lucky Star porn thread with almost 100 images of similar situations depicting children being horribly molested that nearly 100 people all have saved in their hard drives to check off over as their helpless little girl squeak, worms in panic on their screen for their own enjoyment! Jeez, just what the fuck? I know this is how the internet works, but what the fuck? So much! What is this? I don't even! Even before caps lock is cruise control. For cool. Fuck off, pedophiles. I can press any damn key I please. Go out in jail. I was raped. A year ago, I was babysitting my step cousin. She's 12. Five foot and has the lightest, most insanely beautiful beach blonde hair, 100% natural. Her skin is a gorgeous milky white, not pasty, but porcelain. Her cheeks are always flushed and her lips are naturally thick and reddish pink. Anyway, she's like a doll. She's real perfect and thin with a cute, slightly upturned ski slope nose. The story isn't copy pasta, it's a 100% truth. We were watching a movie in her bedroom together and she was sitting on my lap. I began to think less about the movie and more about her. I was getting a boner from the pressure of her sitting down on my cock and it was just about to make its way through my jeans. She sifted in my lap, which made a shitload of pre-cum seep out. I couldn't take it anymore. I needed to go to the bathroom and fap vigorously. I wasn't wearing a belt that day, which, by the way, which is just fucking perfect. Hey, I'm going to the bathroom for a sec, okay? Mm-hmm. They stood up. My jeans fell on, exposing my boner, which stuck out through the opening of my boxers. I switched immediately to, for fuck's sake, God, make me invisible mode, because I knew she was going to see my big stupid cock. She stared, mouth open at my erection for a moment that seemed like forever. Her eyes on me made me more pre leak out onto the fluffy white carpet. Daniel, did you want to fuck me? What, did you? I asked, pulling up my jeans. You got me very wet, she sighed, staring down at her lilac knee socks. I do want you, I admitted. Turned out she had a cock and raped me in the ass. This is for you, Anon. The ones that sit at home on the weekends because your friends are off being someone you're not. The ones that surf B for a chance to smile, a chance to laugh, and sometimes a chance to baw. The ones that tear up at the tail of a forgotten kitten, but snicker when a cam whore is being verbally assaulted. The ones that white knight, the ones that call out the white knights, and the ones that need the white knights. The ones who turn to be when their significant others cheat on them with their best friend. The ones who don't have significant others. To the ones that think of witty responses not a heartbeat after reading a post. And to the ones who don't think of them until the thread 404s. The ones that see a mangled body draped over a dead baby that's being raped at the same time and still take a bite of their sandwich. The ones that choose chubbies over scene girls. The ones who choose scene girls over chubbies. The ones who sage even though it does nothing. This is to the ones that are the most amazing people I've ever had a privilege of talking to, but still can't find a person to appreciate them like we do. The ones that long to fall asleep holding a certain person's hand, but are too shy to even talk to them. The quiet girl who is the sweetest, funniest, cutest girl, but doesn't get a second glance. The misunderstood guy who always says funny things, but people take them the wrong way because <laughs> they're close-minded niggers. The ones that read the ball threads and call out everyone posting them as new fags, faggots, etc., but still read every single post because they need to feel emotion. The ones that I wish I could give a hug to because I know, even though they post the most soulless, cold, disgusting shit, they still have the need to feel loved. Well, Anon, I love you, and I would be honored to fall asleep holding your hand. Frentish view. It's a microwave rifle. 
It's tough to explain the animations and effect I'll be using because I specifically don't want a single visual style because the world isn't made by one company. Because this isn't the Hitchhiker's Guide and everything made by fucking everyone and they all have their own idea of what they want. So it'll have a style, but it'll be inconsistent. So I'm not trying to make it all look like BF2142, except the railgun, which is totally is from 2142 somehow. I won't be optimizing my content, specifically because I'm not going to make the same game we've all played 200 times. I'm going to make it fucking ray traced. And if your PC can't handle it, well then my balls are feeling rather unsucked by you right now, so it's not going to be a commercial success. As for poly count, I'm not ZBrush. Why the hell should I make more of the same when you all bitch about it every year? Oh no! More loot boxes, blocks! There's no point optimizing poly counts, because I want something that works in the real world, even if it works badly. This is all done specifically in Autodesk Inventor. If it doesn't look like it could really exist and justify itself physically in some way with some kind of realistic psychiancy, no matter how implausible, plausible, and low probability, then it's not going in the game. So if you want your game to look like one style, then you're going to have to see the final product and go from there. I'm really glad my Ferrari sandwich this morning with the Ferrari eggs and the Ferrari sausage from my Ferrari fridge and the glass of petrol I had this morning helped me get all fired up. I'm going to walk down my street to Ferrari and buy some red pasta and some bright yellow blueberries with a horse logo on them. Ever play Warframe? It's basically a mod for CSS. You are such a shock that because of your love, even the sky collapses. You are such a shock as you fall down into my embrace. Even if someone ties my heart to change, it's no use. With a flick of a finger, I'll knock down anyone in my way. You are such a shock that your love will make anyone's heart beat faster. You are such a shock that my heart is beating. As my heart wanders about looking for you, it burns fire and will melt and scatter everything in order to protect our love. You have gone on a journey and lost out of tomorrow. I don't want to see a face that has forgotten how to smile, so bring back our love. You are such a shock that with love you can cleave darkness. You are such a shock that you can cleave my darkness. No one will be able to break the tranquility between the two of us. The bond into tracking us will never sever for a second time. In order to protect our love, you have gone on a journey and lost out of tomorrow. I don't want to see a face that has forgotten how to smile, so bring back our love. Fuck you for making me doing that. There he is. There he goes again. Look everyone, he posted it again. Isn't he just the funniest guy around? Oh my god. I can almost see your pathetic overweight frame glowing in the dark lip of your computer screen, which is the only source of light in your room. Giggling like a little girl as he once again type your little he thread up and fill in the captcha. Or maybe you don't even fill in the captcha. Maybe it's such a disgusting neat that you actually paid for a 4chan pass so you just choose the picture. Oh, we all know the picture. The uh, epic orange monkey, isn't it? I imagine you, little shit, laughing so hard as you click th that you drop your Doritos on the floor. But it's okay. Your mother will clean it up in the morning. Oh, that's right. Did I fail to mention... You live with your mother. You're a fat fucking fuck up and she's probably so sick of you already. So sick of having to do everything for you all goddamn day, every day, for a grown man who spends all his time on 4chan posting a dumb monkey rap meme. Just imagine this. She had you, and then she thought you were going to be a scientist, or an astronaut, or something grand, and you became a neat. A pathetic DK rap fag neat. She probably cries herself to sleep every day thinking about how bad it is and how she wishes she could just disappear. She can't even talk, try to talk to you because all you say is, Whoa, nuts, peanuts. You became a parody of yourself, and that's all you are. A sad little man laughing in the dark by himself as he prepares to indulge in the same old dance that he's done a million times now, and that's all you'll ever be. There he is. There he goes again. Look, everyone, he posted it once again. Isn't he just the funniest guy around? Oh, my God. I can almost see your pathetic, overweight frame glowing in the dark, lit by your computer screen, which is the only source of light in your room, giggling like a little girl as you once again type your little he thread up and fill in the captcha. Or maybe you don't even fill in the captcha. Maybe you're such a disgusting neat that you actually paid for a 4chan pass, so you just choose the picture. Oh, we all know the picture. The, uh, epic orange monkey, isn't it? I imagine you. Little shit. 
laughing so hard as you click it that you drop your Doritos onto the floor. But it's okay, your mother will clean it up in the morning. Oh, that's right, did I fail to mention? You live with your mother! You're a fat fucking fuck up and she's probably so sick of you already. So sick of having to do everything for you all goddamn day. Every day, for a grown man who spends all his time on 4chan posting about a dumb monkey rap meme. Just imagine this. She had you, and then she thought you were going to be a scientist, or an astronaut, or something grand, and then you became a neat. A pathetic, DK rap fag neat. She probably cries herself to sleep every day thinking about how bad it is and how she wishes she could just disappear. She can't even try to talk to you because all you say is walnuts. Peanuts, you became a parody of yourself, and that's all you are, a sad little man laughing in the dark by himself as he prepares to indulge in the same old dance that he's done a million times now, and that's all you'll ever be. Anons, I love you, but please stop posting this fucking long-ass shit. Please. <laughs> will never strap Siri to an operating table, gently assuring her this will make her a real witcher as you take your saw to her skull. You will never gently remove 40% of the mass of her prefrontal lobe, watching in delight as she slowly loses herself as you carve away her higher brain functions. You will never bathe her and flip her daily to prevent bed sores as she is in recovery. You'll never see the childish wonder in her eyes when she awakes essentially an easily stimulated doll for you to play with. You'll never teach her how to drink from a bottle or gently spoon mushed up food you chewed yourself into her mouth to feed her. You'll never tuck her into bed, gently stroking all over her body as she murmurs and falls asleep. She'll never inquisitively suck on your rock-hard cock, licking a pre crumb greedily as a tasty snack and gripping your shaft like a lollipop. You'll never fuck her ass raw as she sobs into the pillow before putting a talcum powder all over it as a punishment for when she's naughty. You'll never greedily slurp up her drool every morning to wake her up suckling her cheeks for the sweet nectar. She'll never call you daddy in her slurred, barely coherent voice as her feebled mind tries to process who you are despite lacking long-term memory. <laughs> I wish I was at home playing video games. This music is too loud. My feet hurt. I'm hungry. Hey, SCP General, this is the real Nep. Enemies in heavy. Enemies in light. Nep, Nep. No D-Boys. The fire rises. Anyone have a mic? Hey, Kisamas! Watashi no namae wa ananimasu of kakasu! To watashi wa kirai! Every single one of anata! All of another are fat of baka baka no less, who spend every single second of my nichi mite ruing at baka pictures. Anata was subite that is warui in the sekai. Honto ni. Have any of anata ever gotten any neko? I mean, what does she guess it's Tanoshi making fun of Hitos because of your own unkawaiiness? But, mina take it to a whole new level. Kore wa worse than onani ing to pictures on Facebook. Shiranai Hitos janai de sho? Just eat watashi, and be sure to gambarimas. Watashi wa pretty much perfect, though. Watashi was American football no captain. To watashi was hajima shikata on watashi no basketball team. Don't not supposed to do another asanbo, other than onani to naked draw nipponjin. Watashi wa 
more get homogeneous to what she has. Banging. Kawaii shoujo. Kanojo wa brojo abo wa shimashita. Kuso wa honto ni cash. Anata wa oki samas. Dare shu kurosu themselves. Domo arigato gozaimasu for listening. Sono wa pikure leta desu. Are wa watashi no ho watashi no onna. Are you serious? Yep. <sighs> What's the matter? I'm just confused. Hmm. <laughs> uh, oh God, Konoda! I I want to fuck you now! Oh! Uh. Oh, Konoda! You have such a delicious ass! Ah! Oh, ah! Shit! I came in your 17-year-old ass! Dude, why do we do that? I'm fucking gay now! Let's just pretend I'm still Kanoda. Why did I do this? Yes! No! Arm the nuke! Nuke is armed. <sighs> oh, great. It's another round of CSGO. Of course. Hey, guys. I'm having a great time. But, you know, maybe we could try, uh, you could, tr you could try posting something besides several paragraph long copy pastas. You know, maybe something a little more fun and creative, maybe some video game quotes, I mean, that's a ridiculous idea, but maybe something video games, I mean, I don't know, that'd be pretty silly, right? Joe went limp as the dinosaur picked him up. No, he had to resist. The fight couldn't end like this. Wait, a clawed hand was on his jeans, ripping them down. What was going on? No, it couldn't be anything but that. Kyo yelped in both pain and horror as he was invaded by red dinosaur dick in front of the whole town. Rawr, said the dinosaur. The dinosaur thrust in and out of Kyo relentlessly, holding him fast on his giant dick. No, Kyo pleaded, but his strength was too little. He could do nothing as he was impaled again and again, being split open and filled. To his horror, he started to not only feel pain from the evasion, but also the beginnings of pleasure. Rawr, said the dinosaur. There Kyo was, being raped in front of hundreds and rock hard. The embarrassment burned his face a bright red as he bit his lips to stop himself from moaning. All he wanted was for it to be over. Something burst inside him, and he realized the dinosaur had come, filling him with his dino semen. He could feel it ooze out of his ass and down the torn fabric of his jeans. With this realization, Kyo came too, and he heard the clicking noise of dozens of people taking pictures with their iPhones. The dinosaur dropped him to the floor of the ring, where Kyo lay in a helpless wreck, only wanting to die. Rar, said the dinosaur. Well, to be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Gochiusa. The humor is extremely clever, and without a solid grasp of Kalfi knowledge, most of the jokes will go over a typical viewer's head. There's also Coco's sister complex, which is definitely woven into her characterization. Her love of sisters drops heavily from the lozy prehistoric local international Greek literature, for instance. The fans understand this stuff. They also have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the vast depths of these jokes, to realize that they're not just funny, they say something deep about life. As a consequence, people who dislike Gochiusa truly are fools. Of course they wouldn't appreciate, for instance, the humor in Chia's famous words, I don't like o some momoa guin tea, which is a very subtle, cryptic reference to the ancient Chinese green tea. It's hard to notice with IQ as low as yours, but if you pay attention, careful attention, you'll notice that green tea and green tea are actually pronounced almost similarly. I'm smirking right now, just imagining one of those adulpated simpletons scratching their heads in confusion as Coco's genius wit 
unfolds itself on their television screens. What fools. How I pity them. And yes, by the way, I do have a scar of a tattoo on my penis. And no, you cannot see it. It's for Loli's eyes only. And even then, they have to demonstrate that they're within five IQ points of my own, preferably lower, beforehand. Dicks are so funny. Can we have sex while we're at it, too? Malbras! Muldasa screws them! Oh, burn! Burn! God damn it! Oh, fuck! Fuck, I can't even hear it! Ah! Many of you say, oh, but I'm not blind. I have never been blind. But when you truly see, you will understand just how blind you were to even think it right to say you were not blind. What does a blind man see? Blackness? Darkness? Dankness? Er, blankness? Black darkness? Dark blackness? The absence of things! Quite literally, no thing. Nothings! Nothing! Nothings! So you see nothing, and I bring you into the light. A cat has your pipe. You've been blind. Do you not understand this? The cat has your pipe. You can't fully immerse yourself. You don't have the light. You don't have the radiance. One, the radical light. Two, the radically radiant light. Three, a truth's belongings, love, and the nature of light, and loving, truthful radiance. So don't be bold and make bold statements. I know of you. The cat has your pipe. The cat has your pipe. Remember that. But aren't girls the cutest when they're almost retarded? Yes! All the other prosecutors have left. I can finally browse the Steel Samurai kink meme! <laughs> I hope someone's filled my Evil Magistrate X Steel Samurai dub cam request. What? Evil Magistrate slash Steel Samurai in that order dub con. What would have happened if the Pink Princess didn't burst into the abandoned dojo in episode 216? Penis! Gay penis! Penis! Most unintelligible! Of course they have penises if they're gay! <laughs> um, Maya? I feel when sister is blind. Spent an entire life looking after her. She would follow me around like a puppy, even into her late teens. That she was being annoying and always made jokes about her and called her names. She pretended to think I was kidding and always laughed it off and made self-deprecating jokes about herself. One day I went to a mall in another city and ditched her as a mean-spirited prank. I watched what she did from a few feet away. She walked to the edge of the sidewall and started yelling my name. A few passers looked at her weirdly, but kept walking. She starts crying and sobbing my name. I feel bad for her and people are starting to notice, so pretend I was looking for her and go up to her. She hugs me and quietly sobs and holds my hand until we get to the car. And the car starts crying and telling me how much she's always loved me and being sorry for me being such a burden. My face when I realized I was a true monster. What's the most autistic veggie thing you've ever done? 
In 2007, I shipped knuckles in Rouge, but the illness grew and grew. Soon, every woman I looked at looked like Rouge, and I would imagine her being with Knuckles. I recorded myself replaying Sonic Adventures 2 and illegally downloaded Sonic X, and went back through the recordings and found all the scenes where Knuckles and Rouge have moments. I compiled the these all into a CD and labeled it as proof. I would spend hours every day looking at the same fan-drawn art that shipped Knuckles and Rouge, and my obsession grew more and more. I rewatched every scene of the anime where it was hinted they liked each other and rewatched them. I would look up Rule 34 of Rouge and every single one with Sonic or Shadow I would pretend didn't exist. I got into a fight with someone on the internet about whether Rouge liked Shadow more or Knuckles, and everybody in the thread said Shadow. I almost killed myself that night. Eventually I stopped going to school pretending to be sick. I was 17 years old. And didn't go for two weeks, just so I could ship Knuckles and Rouge and read every fan fiction and view every fan art. My parents discovered my gigabytes of files on Knuckles and Rouge when I went to the bathroom, the only time I left the room, and threatened to break the computer. I threw my mum and stopped myself from hitting her with my belt. I clung to my computer and screamed, and they called the police, where I was taken away and hospitalized for a month. This went on for five months, and I stopped going to school the last two weeks of the fiasco. It started to get really bad during the last two months. I had to retake all my state tests, finals, again in January because I couldn't take the tests. I was removed from the National Honor Society after this. Why you want wear for Kalashnikov? Is not good enough as procured from his heavy mechanical works? You think needs improvement? Then maybe you find job with Army of Russia. You have drinks with Mikhail Kalashnikov. Trade story of many weapons designed and details of school for engineering. Or maybe you do not do this. Probably is because you never design weapon in whole life. You look at fine Russian rifle, think it need crazy shit stick on all sides of weapon. You have disease of American capitalist. Change thing that is fine for no reason except to look different from comrade. You put cheap flashlight of Chinese slave factory on one side. You put bad scope of American Whittle West on other side. You put front pistol clip on bottom so you think you are like American movie guy John Rambo. Maybe you put sex dildo on top to fuck yourself an asshole for making shameful travesty a rival me Kalashnikov, no? Rifle is fine! You fuck it! It can only get heavy and you still know it rages side of barn! Go to firing range! Practice with many magazine of cartridge! Then you not need dumb shit put on side rifle! Blat! What's the most autistic video thing you've ever done? In 2007, I shipped Knuckles and Rouge, but the illness grew and grew. Soon, every woman I looked at looked like Rouge, and I would imagine her being with Knuckles. I recorded myself playing Sonic Adventures 2, and illegally downloaded Sonic X and went back through the recordings and found all the scenes where Knuckles and Rouge have moments. I compiled all these into a CD and labeled it as proof. I would spend hours every day looking at the same fan-drawn art that shipped Knuckles and Rouge, and my obsession grew more and more. 
I rewatched every scene of the anime where it hinted like they liked each other and rewatched them. I would look up Rule 34 of Rouge, and every single one of them was Sonic or Shadow. I would pretend didn't exist. I got into a fight with someone on the internet about whether Rouge liked Shadow more or Knuckles, and everybody in the thread said Shadow. I almost killed myself that night. Eventually, I stopped going to school pretending to be sick, I was 17, and didn't go for two weeks so I could ship Knuckles and Rouge and read every fan fiction and view every fan art. My parents eventually discovered my gigabytes of files on Knuckles and Rouge when I went to the bathroom, the only time I left the room, and threatened to break the computer. I almost threw my mom and stopped myself from hitting her with my belt. I clung to my computer and screamed, and they called the police where I was taken away and hospitalized for a month. This went on for five months, and I stopped going to school the last two weeks of the fiasco. It started to get really bad during the last two months. I had to retake all my state tests, which were finals, again in January, because I couldn't take them the first time. I was removed from the National Honor Society after this. It was pretty fucked up, man. Sonic's some shit. When I had a going into games machine, this will have been early 2006, I used to go into Majora's Mask a lot, and one of my fav things to do was to funnel Romani at the ranch. One of the great things about fondling video game characters is that they don't fight back or struggle because they don't recognize you as the player character. It's like you don't exist. But, <laughs> let me tell you, she smelled like shit. In fact, everybody in that game did. I got used to it after a while, but that first moment when I smelt Romani up close, whew, I was almost sick. She looks clean and nice when you see her on television, but when you're there stood next to her, it's a different story. The machine was stolen in the end, and I'm kind of glad. It had started to take over my life. This makes my penis become the big penis. Sometimes, I wonder what it would be like if every neighborhood block had a big trough that men could go ejaculate in. This trough would somehow be maintained in a way that could support the hundreds of liters of semen. Women from the neighborhood would then bathe themselves, one at a time, inside the trough during ovulation, and the pregnancy that would occur would result in an unknown father. The babies that would result from these bathings would be known as the children of the trough, obviously, and would receive the love and care of the entire neighborhood. The children would be raised not according to birth, for all would be equal, and no woman would have to raise the child by herself, for it belonged to the neighborhood. This makes my penis become the big penis. No, because when you kiss a girl and you press your lips to hers, your noses will bump unless you tilt to the side, right? So then you tilt your head from side to side so your noses rub together, and that's why it's called making out, and not just kissing. Dummy. You know what it is, every slip I roll, I roll it big. Ah, ah. Screaming that skunk, when I roll up the blunt, that skunk. See me in your town with the pound of hay. Green and purple, green and purple, green and purple, green and purple. If you smoke this shit, you'll be half a day. Green and purple, green and purple, green and purple, green and purple. Thanks, Doc. Eat Rustler's Burger, win trip to Detroit, get deported to America, thrown into the harsh streets of Detroit, get raped by niggas until a more come than man, nip down to the shops and pick up a Rustler's Beef Burger, snip off the tin, spy a shiny golden ticket, call me old mum, what's the same then Fergus? We just want a trip to America mum, oh fancy that, a holiday to Florida. 
I'll have your father nip round the chemist tomorrow to pick up some sun cream, Anna. Blimey, Mum. It's just Detroit, America, not Florida. My mum and I doused the house in petrol and set spark to it. The next three days we saw the doll, hiding in Corbett's. Scotland Yard rounds us up, puts us on a sky car to America. Well, we's right snug it now, mum. I take Zelda gets tail, so I make Wind Waker. You hate Wind Waker and think it for babies, so I follow Ocarina of Time and make a Twilight Princess. Oh, but now you hate Twilight Princess. You have Wind Waker now! Well, you don't know what you like, so at this e free, I make more for a Twilight Princess and Wind Waker carried Skyward Sword. And you don't like Skyward Sword too! You love Wind Waker and Twilight Princess now! What the fuck do you think you want? That's why I make Wii Sports at least kids and moms will always like it. The sad part is... He's absolutely right. You want million dollar? Tall man! Here, bomb! Fuck you! Fun is just a buzzword when you can't actually think of any real reasons as to why the game is good. Don't use it. Either way, being amused or entertained with something and being immersed are not the same thing. Fun is just a buzzword, when you can't actually think of any real reasons as to why a game is good. Don't use it. Either way, being amused or entertained with something and being immersed are not the same thing. Ugh. Such unenlightened proles. I think Zerda gets stale, so I make a wind waker. You hate the wind waker and take it for babies, so I follow OT and make Twilight Princess. Oh, but no, now you hate Twilight Princess. You love a wind waker now. Well, you don't know what you like. So at this E3, I make Mofu with Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker called the Skyward Sword. And you don't like a Skyward Sword too. You know you love a Wind Waker and Twilight Princess now. What the fuck do you think you want? That's why I make Wii Sports and raise kids and moms will always like it. You know the sad part is, he's absolutely right. Suck dick. I'd rather be sucking down on the smooth, rich taste of Marlboro cigarettes and also dick. Suck dick? I'd rather be sucking down the smooth, rich taste of Marlboro cigarettes and also dick. Eat Russell's burger when a trip to Detroit. Get deported to America. Thrown into the harsh streets of Detroit. Get hit by niggas until I'm more calm than man. Reddit team.
dirty sand rakers trained tirelessly 25 hours a day for six months in preparation for this match playing on six thousand dollar alienware computers connected directly to the network at high res hq sand raker scum v team blood eagle master race hastily scrambled together 30 minutes before the match playing on toasters connected on 56k modems carried only on the merits of their peerless strategy coordination brotherhood and friendship final score three two sand raker status pushed off our world reddit are you even trying anymore Suck dick? <laughs> I'd rather be sucking down the smooth, rich taste of Marlboro cigarettes. And, uh, also dick. Doom. Repercussions of evil. John Stalvern waited. The lights above him blinked and sparked out of the air. There were demons in the base. He didn't see them, but had expected them now for years. His warnings to Colonel Josen were not listened to, and now it was too late. Far too late for now, anyway. John was a space marine for 14 years. When he was young, he watched the spaceships and he said to Dad, I want to be on the ship's daddy. Dad said, no, you will be killed by demons. There was a time when he believed him. Then, as he got older, he stopped. But now, in the space station base of the UAC, he knew there were demons. This is Joson, the radio crackhead. You must fight the demons. So John got at his pal Smau rifle and blew up the wall. He going to kill us, said the demons. I will shoot at him, said the cyber demon, and he fired the rocket missiles. John plasmaed at him and tried to blew him up, but then the ceiling fell and they were trapped and not able to kill. No, I must kill the demons, he shouted. The radio said, no, John, you are the demons. And then John was a zombie. Shazbot! Doom. Repercussions of evil. John Stalvern waited. The lights above him blinked and sparked out of the air. There were demons in the base. He didn't see them, but had expected them now for years. His warnings to Colonel Josen were not listened to, and now it was too late. Far too late for now, anyway. John was a space marine for 14 years. When he was young, he watched the spaceships and he said to Dad, I want to be on the ships, Daddy. Dad said, No! You will be killed by demons. There was a time when he believed him. Then he got older. He stopped. But now, in the space station base of the UAC, he knew there were demons. This is Josen, the radio crackered. You must fight the demons. So, John got in his Palsma rifle and blew up the wall. He is going to kill us, said the demons. I will shoot at him, said the cyber demon, as he fired the rocket missiles. John plasmed at him and tried to blow him up, but then the ceiling fell and they were trapped and not able to kill. No, I must kill the demons, he shouted. The radio said, No, John, you are the demons. And then John was a zombie. Five, five... Cute facts about Marula. One, Marula acute. Acute! Two, she is the strongest. Three, I love her. Four, Marula! Zed and I share the same philosophy for power. We don't let other people or their morality hold us back when we want something. No technique is forbidden. Tradition is the corpse of wisdom. Meaning, if tradition is the sole reason for certain conduct, then it is nothing but a corpse of past wisdom and rationality that ushered in said tradition. Thus, it should be destroyed, and you should create your own path. 
only the worthy will survive, inspired me to get good at video games, to get ripped in real life, to take everything I do more serious and improve myself. Yasuo is a man who admits past mistakes and seeks out his demons and failures, facing them head on and cutting down anyone who is in his path. The road to ruin is shorter than you think. I've made some mistakes in the past, and I understand him very well. This story is not yet finished. This unbreakable spirit, in the face of all danger and opposition, to keep going, this is something I respect. Honor is in the heart, not in the name. Conduct shows honor, not promises and words. These two champions share my personality traits. That is why I liked them so much and mastered them to high elo. He keeps telling you lies, and you keep believing him. The man everyone talks about. Businessman, mastermind, heartbreaker, womanizer, power dignitary, CEO of your ass, and all-around alpha stud. That hair, them eyes, that smirk, that chin. He's got that wanna-fuck face on. Can you pull it without looking like a faggot? No, you can't. But Todd can, because he knows stuff. Submit thy flesh already. This thread. Yikes! My face. My soul! Won't the janitors do their job already? He keeps telling you lies, and you keep believing him. The man everyone talks about. Businessman. Mastermind. Heartbreaker. Womanizer. Power dignitary. CEO of your ass, an all-around alpha stud, dat hair, dem eyes, dat smirk, dat chin. Submit thy flesh already. He's got that wanna fuck face on. Can you pull it without looking like a faggot? No, you can't. But Todd can, because he knows stuff. He keeps telling you lies and you keep believing him. The man everyone talks about. Businessman, mastermind, heartbreaker, womanizer, power dignitary, CEO of your ass. And all about Alpha Stud. He's got that wanna fuck face on. Can you pull it without looking like a faggot? No, you can't. But Todd can. Cause he knows stuff. Submit thy flesh already. Approach counter with Wittgenstein's Tractatus. Female cash operator, doing some light reading, said with perplexed levity. Me, mask of confusion. Are you alluding to the thinness of the volume? Female cash operator slash potential mate. Huh? Me, teeth chattering. Do not let the weight of the book deceive you as to the weightiness of its contents. Future wife, okay, me, swallows. Soulmate. Are you okay? Me, I want you to perform the transaction now. Anon, you come into my thread, take my requests, Shower the other Anons with your amazingly sexy and masculine voice, and you have the gall to say you don't want to steal my thunder? Well, I'll tell you what, Anon! You are free to do whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. You sound cool. Keep it up. You wanna strip down in the ring with me, Hulk Hogan? Well, let me tell you something. I'd be down to strip down right now and throw you all across this ring from the top 
to the bottom. But I'll tell you right now, I really would love to snap you into a Slim Jim right now. But you know what? The only reason that my voice can get so low is because it's torn out from you all this yelling I've been doing for hours now, brother. Oh, yeah. So I'll tell you what. We'll have to call this a draw for right now. Yeah. We'll have to snap into Slim Jim later. We'll have to make the cream rise to the top. Another time, but until then, you better watch your back, Hogan. You better make sure to not call anyone any niggas over some secret sex tape. Until then, yeah, and I'll be sure to watch my back and watch my throat, because I need a fucking drink of water right now, yeah. You just keep on trucking, brother. Make all those anarchs cream their pants. Cream rises to the top with your masculine voice. I tell you right now, I need to stop. My throat hurts. Uh. Him, that guy. Him, Kyle. Him come to topple with a binder. Ask, Kyle, what is that? It my tune, Anon. Ask, Kyle, why binder? It contain references to items for quick and ref. Ask, why so many item? Oh, it's simple, Anon. My chair actor is child of two of them famous adventurers. My other tune, him, got hidden inheritance money. Ask, Kyle? But how much? Wobble three tunes. Kyle then proceed to bitch and cry, cause I tell him it not fair for the other players of the game. Him doesn't it realize, though, him's parents, spoiler, are dead. Why this allowed? Him, that guy. Him, Kure. Him, come to table with a binder. Ask, Kule, what is that? It my tune, Anon. Ask, Kule, why binder? It contain references to items for quick ref. Ask, why so many item? Oh, it's simple, Anon. My character actor is child of two them famous adventurer. My other two get him inheritance money. Ask, Kule. But how much? W B L three tunes. Kule then proceed to bitch and cry cause I tell him it not fair for the other players in the game. Him does not realize though him's parents, spoiler, are dead. Why is this allowed? Well now, what have we here? Another rube fallen victim to my scheme. Yes, you did not mishear me, friend. I intentionally embarked upon this endeavor. This endeavor being such, I assumed the disposition of a nitwit, a simpleton, if you will, so that I could play upon you my devious jape without fear of reprisal. I masterfully ensnared you in my web of falsehoods, and just when you felt the most secure, I sprung my trap. For you see... I was not a dun to pate after all. Oh, you look quite the blockhead on this particular occasion. Not only were you enraged by my shifty maneuver, you thought it to be genuine. But you see, here is the beauty of it. My clever disguise allows me to strike again and again. Many more men like yourself will be made fools before the night is out, let me assure you. But there is no shame in it, my friend. For you are not the first, nor will you be the last. To fall prey to the shenanigans of the Trixie Banter Man. <coughs> Is that you, Anon? The doc says it doesn't look good. <coughs> he said it. <coughs> It's going to cost forty nine ninety nine for the medicine. 
Wait a minute. Is that <coughs> exact? That's exactly how much the Fallout 4 season pass costs. Do you think you can help me save my life and buy it? Buy my game, please. Buy the season pass. Buy it. Buy it, please. Buy it. Buy the season pass for the love of God. Hi there, my young fellow. How are you doing? It appears to me that you are, in fact, kind of displeased with the current situation. What is it that makes your life hard currently? Is it maybe a cause of the recent roasting of your Jeromes that suddenly happened? I really have to say that this roasting was, without any doubt, the strongest since the year 2000 hoax. Do you may have an idea of why this waddling of your Walters was so powerful? No? Well, well, well. I can for sure tell you the truth about this important event. It was me who tricked you into this displacement. I can hear your brain trying to comprehend how this is even possible, but, and I'm sure about this, you cannot comprehend of what happened to you because it is too complex. Even Zeus and Thor were struggling, finding the right way in this gigantic and evil maze of trickery. It took me 1,000 years to fully write my plan down, and another 1,000 to understand it. The complexity is higher than that of a 14-dimensional dodecahedron. It all starts out with the day of this legendary ruse. The day of rusement was carefully planned and calculated on this exact day. The day where an astronomical constellation appears that will never occur again in the next three Googleplex years. A constellation that generates an antimatter black hole. This sort of black hole doesn't suck matter. Antimatter black holes suck the well-being out of everyone. But did you see someone else feeling bad today? Yes, my little fellow. I created a lens that focuses the power of the antimatter black hole directly on you. It took 300 years to create this extremely complex lens, and I had to combine the power of God and Satan to create it. But enough with the rusement. As I'm not some faggot rusement, I have planned even more trickery tricks to lead you into this discomfort. When you were mindlessly surfing on this bee, I made a post that I was sure will put you in a mood of rage. This post was sprinkled with lies and intentional logical fallacies and a good portion of something you dislike seeing in your surroundings. With my Rusman instincts, I already knew you were typing a response to the displeasing content you just saw. At the exact moment of sending your response, you have started up the machine of displeasement and not well-being. A machine that once started cannot be so... Not by God, not by Satan, and not even by Cthulhu himself. While your comment was traveling through the cyberspace, you started feeling bad. Something in your brain was screaming, but you just didn't know why. With this message you are currently reading, I am telling you something you should have thought before you were sending your pathetic comment to me. I am, in fact, a Master Rusman, Grade 3. I was part of the ancient circle of Master Rusman. I can see on your face that you already knew this. A ruse this fantastic and gigantic cannot be done by some low-grade ruse noob. Yes, you have been rused by me. There were only one ruse known to mankind until now. Can you imagine how hard it is to do? Only two ruses were executed in the past three trillion years. Now you finally know about this unbearable discomfort you started feeling right when you got my response. The response, this message, reveals of what has been done. You, yeah you, have been rused. You are powerless. You want to scream, but you can't. You just sit there in a mix of rage and helplessness. You want to find this guy, this master Rusman grade 3, and you want to kill him. But at the exact moment of thinking, you also realize that you will never be able to even come near such a powerful being like me. This ruse has set me into a position higher than Hades, thus making me a god. Well, well, well. You seem even smaller now. Compare your pathetic life to me and you will realize you are nothing. You think now you might overcome this rumbling of your Jordans? You think you can bear it, but my devilish plan goes far deeper. Now, after you've already been rose to infinity, this letter discomforts you to a new level of discomfort. In the moment you are reading what I wrote, you realize how pathetic you are. How useless you are. With every single word, you, your very soul, gets crushed. 
Your soul is now demolished. God can take you to heaven, and Satan does not want demolished slaves. Your soul, I permanently banished from the real afterlife. Your soul already tried to escape your body, but your soul cannot escape into the eternal spheres, thus it will be stuck in a permanent state of dying. Every day you will suffer thinking of a way to escape this almost deadly ruse, but it is too late. You are rused forever! Yes, my dear fellow, I know you want to know who is responsible for this. I will tell you my story now. I don't know where I'm from, but I know I was the first to exist. I was alone, but soon a few people followed. We made a circle called Master Rusman. The only real Master Rusers were allowed to join this exquisite circle. We agreed that we will never decide who is the best Master Rusman, but after some time I found a way to lead my Master Rusman in the circle. It didn't take long till everyone's Jacobs were rumbled. After they found out what exquisite trickery were played on them, they agreed to give the one who caused this discomfort the title God of Ruse. Now you finally realize what huge impact this ruse had. You never thought that you would be, in fact, rused by a godness. Somehow you feel honored. Honored to get your gust ovens jingled by the god of all master rusemen. The life you know does not exist anymore. You can only return to a diminished shadow of what you call your life. The rusement was too strong. Not even time itself could recover from the wounds this monumental trickery caused you. I am, for my part, pretty proud of myself. Even I had my doubts I could make a contrivance this huge and tricky, but I did it! I managed to create the most thorough-going ruse! You have been rused by me, the one and only. Even after a hundred years, you will still remember this day. The day of the ruse. The day the god of ruse personally made a statement to intentionally discomfort you. Songs will be written on this masterful ruse, and I hold no remorse or regret, for I am and always shall be the god of ruse. No! I will not be denied, silenced, harassed, or shamed. I refuse to live in a world where another man can destroy what I love to appease their own conscience or their own guilt. A man is a free creature born on this earth to fulfill their own will. I love big tits. I will always love big tits. I find women possessing them to be attractive and powerful. This is my cry of liberty in this forsaken land long blighted by the prudish and the moral guardian. Big tits are beautiful, gorgeous things given to all of humanity as proof of our Creator's eternal and unconditional love for all of us. I call out to my brothers and sisters living in oppression to rise up and reclaim that which is most dear with both hands. Freedom, I cry. Freedom! Feminine refers not just to literal females, but to anything that possesses or is imagined to possess stereotypically female qualities. A man can be feminine or strike a feminine pose. Various cultures attribute femininity to obviously genderless features of the natural world, like the moon or the soil. There are feminine rhymes in poetry. If an abstract linguistic pattern can be feminine, why not a penis? For example, a slender, smooth penis contrasted with a blunt and veiny member. A graceful penis. A receptive penis that does not aggressively penetrate, but rather allows itself to be engulfed. And isn't dribbling semen reminiscent of a breast warm milk? A nurturing penis, a penis like a doting mother, a feminine penis. Vast is the sea, its waves reaching horizons far and wide. Eternal is the radiance of its azure womb. And so, let us ride this moment and dash forth. Swift is light, quick as a star eternal.
Hear my plea and grant this one wish. The world longs for an era of peace, days that know not strife. In a world where only peace is lord and men join hands in liberty, allow me to sing but this. Halt, O time, for thou art fair beyond measure. I wish upon your unending star. Guide me to heights unknown. At Zulith, Resnove, also Sprach, Zarathustra! In this thread, characters that remind you of yourself. For me, it's Kefka, intelligent, nihilistic, and with a wicked sense of humor. Why, it's my penis weenus, of course! <laughs> it's my weenus penis! <laughs> I in this thread, enemies that unnerve me, my answer, of course, my penis weenus! <laughs> Hello, Veronica. Will you be my gamer, GF, and let me love you? No, Jocker, ew! I told you I only love Chad football team, not gangweed gamers like you! Why do we live in a society? Bottom text. Because it's all part of a plan. Whatever doesn't kill me makes me stranger. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool thread, OP. But is there a character who can defeat Madara Uchiha? And I'm not talking about Edo Tensei Uchiha Madara. No, I'm not talking about Gedo Rien Tensei Uchiha Madara. Hell, I'm not talking about Jubi Jin Chiku De Gedo Rien Tensei Uchiha Madara either. I'm talking about Kono Yo Kyushi Futiame No Ikudu Jipe Jiku Gedo Rien Tensei Uchiha Madara with the Eternal Man Gekku Sharingan, which is capable of Entai Maratsu, Izagi, Inazami, and Tsuyakuzuno Genjutsu, his two original Rinnegan, which grant him Jinko, Soto, Shiratoro, uh, Tendo, Nigendo, Jikoro, Gairo, Genko, Bansho, Tien, Shibaki, Tensei, Shira, Tensei, Tenkai, Shinsei, and Banbu, so, 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 capable of using Katon, Futon, Raiton, Doton, Sotan, Motokan, Granton, Inton, Yoton, and even Omoya Tonjutsu, equipped with his gun by, capable of using Uchiha Gaishi and Ashakodo because he has a master's Kenjutsu and Taijutsu and perfect Senoso O's that he can use Yasaka no Magatama, control of both the Jubi and the Gendo Mazo with the Hiroshima Seiju's DNA and face implanted on his chest with his four Rebo Hengoku clones guarding him and his nine Gudodama floating behind him after he absorbs Senjutsu from the first Hokage into Rikujutsu, Rikudu Senjutsu mode, cast Mugen Kitsukuya Yomi on everybody in your shin. Jukai caught them so you can use their chakra while they are under Genjutsu. I'm talking about Sage Mode, Sage of the Six Paths, Jubi Jin, Jin Jiryuki, Gendo Death Perception, and Chaos Tojutsu, equipped with Shining Trapezo Dedron, or Casting Super Tengen Tapa Garan Lagan as his Susanu, controlling the Gold Experience Requiem Stand, able to tap into Speed Force, wearing the Common Rider Black RX suit and Gedo Mazo with Harashima Senju's DNA and planted him so he has Mokotun Gagi Gakai and perform Yin Yang Release Ninjutsu while being an expert at Kenjutsu and Taijutsu. I'm not doing any more takes. Fuck you. I hate you. Kill yourself, nigger faggot. Fuck. Cunt. Joker! One hard gangster, Diamond! You can find me at the club! Have your pet neutered or spelled! I'm Hertz! I mean, Hertz! And together we are the Mad Magic Five! 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 No! Not having a stroke, fucking idiot! Stop making fun of me!
be my GF? What does GF mean? Girlfriend. What do you mean with that? I like you a lot and we should be together. How can you know that you like me? We didn't even meet each other in real life. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I was shooting heroin and reading the fountainhead in the front seat of my privately owned police cruiser when a call came in. I put a quarter in the radio to activate it. It was the chief. Bad news, detective. We got a situation. What? Is the mayor trying to ban trans fats again? Worse. Somebody just stole $447 million worth of bitcoins. The heroin needle practically fell out of my arm. What kind of monster would do something like that? Bitcoins are the ultimate currency. Virtual, anonymous, stateless. They represent true economic freedom, not subject to arbitrary manipulation by any government. Do we have any leads? Not yet. But mark my words, we're going to figure out who did this, and we're going to take them down, provided someone pays us a fair market rate to do so. Easy, chief, I said. Any rate the market offers is by definition fair. He laughed. <laughs> That's why you're the best I got, Liowski. Now you get out there and find those bitcoins. Don't worry, I said. I'm on it. I put a quarter in the siren. Ten minutes later, I was on the scene. It was a normal office building, strangled on all sides by public sidewalks. I hopped over them and went inside. Home Depot, trademark, presents the police, registered, I said, flashing my badge and my gun in a small picture of Ron Paul. Nobody move unless you want to. They didn't. Now, which one of you punks is going to pay me to investigate this crime? No one spoke up. Come on, I said. Don't you all understand that the protection of private property is the foundation of all personal liberty? It didn't seem like they did. Seriously, guys, without a strong economic motivator, I'm just going to stand here and not solve this case. Cash is fine, but I prefer being paid in gold bullion or autographed Penn Jillette posters. Nothing. These people were stonewalling me. It almost seemed like they didn't care that a fortune in computer money invented to buy drugs was missing. I figured I could wait them out. I lit several cigarettes indoors. A pregnant lady coughed, and I told her that secondhand smoke is a myth. Just then, a man in glasses made a break for it. Subway, trademark. Eat fresh and freeze, scumbag. Registered, I yelled. Too late. He was already out the front door. I went after him. Stop right there, I yelled as I ran. He was faster than me because I always try to avoid stepping on public sidewalks. Our country needs a private sidewalk voucher system. But thanks to the incestuous interplay between our corrupt federal government and the public sidewalk lobby, lobby, it'll never happen. I was losing him. Listen, I'll pay you to stop, I yelled. What would you consider an appropriate price point for stopping? I'll offer you a thirteenth of an ounce of gold and a gently worn Bob Barrow 8 extra long sleeve men's t-shirt. He turned. In his hand was a revolver that the Constitution said he had every right to own. He fired at me and missed. I pulled my own gun, put a quarter in it, and fired back. The bullet lodged in a USPS mailbox less than a foot from his head. I shot the mailbox again, on purpose. All right, all right, the man yelled, throwing down his weapon. I give up, cop. I confess, I took the bitcoins. Why'd you do it, I asked, as I slapped a pair of Oikos trademark Greek yogurt presents handcuffs registered on the guy. Because I was afraid. Afraid? Afraid of an economic future, free from the pernicious meddling of central bankers, he said. I'm a central banker. I wanted to cold cock the guy. Years ago, a central banker killed my partner. Instead, I shook my head. Let this be a message to all your central banker friends out on the street, I said. No matter how many bitcoins you steal, you'll never take away the dream of an open society based on the principles of personal and economic freedom. He nodded, because he knew I was right. Then he swiped his credit card to pay me for arresting him. I wasted far too much time reading this fucking bullshit. Ah, uh, Jimmy, I'm gonna fuck your mom. Have you heard of Undertale? 
despair. But also an erection! I'll miss you. See you, Space Cowboy.